guys. This is Queenie of Casa Negrense Cooking and Lifestyle with Queenie. What's on the next episode of Casa Negrense? I am making some seabot soup. My name is Queenie and you are watching Casa Negrense. Hi guys, how are you? Today in the casa, we're going to be making seabot soup or S-E-B-O-T soup or what you call ginseng soup. It's a Chinese recipe which um, traditionally is made of dock meat. But today, I am using a free-range chicken or kung sa ilonggo pa bisaya nga manok, you can use that. And I will show you the rest of the ingredients. So, this is called ginseng mix. A ginseng mix is what you use to make a seabot soup. So, I'm going to show you what's inside. This is how it is. It's basically made of uh, made up of kahoy kahoy, <laughs> but um, it's uh, I've seen some goji berries inside. I've also seen some star anise and some other things, but it comes uh, pre-packed. That's why I only use half of this because I'm only using half of the chicken today. But you can use the whole package and you can use the whole free range chicken or the bisaya ng manok. But I'm only using. A uh, small one, but in the Philippines, usually, um, I've noticed that the bisaya na manok are smaller, so feel free to use half only. Uh, don't use the whole package. But this can be sold in Wakong, in in shopping in in Bacolod City, or maybe in Chinatown in in Manila. You can get one for yourself. So that's how it looks like. And I only use half of this, half of the package. This is half of it, and I already put this inside a uh, pouch, uh, like a strainer pouch, which I'm going to use so that. All of the woods or the the other recipe, the other ingredients won't be everywhere in the soup. So that's what I use the chicken, and I am using a um, chicken broth here for flavoring. Usually they don't just salt, but I'm using minor cubes, and I'm also using a pink salt, and I'm also um, using some sesame oil, and I'm also adding traditionally. Uh, Asian wine, so I'm gonna be making. I'm gonna be putting a little bit of Chaoxing wine, so maybe one half tablespoon will do, or one tablespoon will do. And I'm also gonna be using leeks. All right, so simple ingredients, right? But nagaandar pag idam pagka Chinese ko, no? <laughs> We're gonna add an asparagus, a white asparagus, to uh, accompany the seabot soup. So this is like seabot soup freestyle, casa negranzi way. All right, let's start the bowl rolling. So over here, the half of the chicken, I'm already starting to boil. Hold on, pasigahon tang suga because it's dark. All right, so I already started boiling the chicken and I will be boiling it usually for two hours, but right now um, it's probably like 30 minutes boiling time. And we're going to start adding the seabot mix. All right, guys, seabot mix is joining the party. Remember, it I, it comes with a pouch for sure. Tinlo na na ang pouch na labhana. That's why I'm putting that in there. One second, let me get something to stir it with. Okay, let's incorporate it to the rest of the thing. But I'm just going to let the pouch, uh, ang hilo sang pouch, uh, the, the yarn or the, the, um, the thread to go up here because I don't want that uh, the woods and the other stuff there would come out of the soup. So you know what I mean, right? Uh, I just came from work today, so my English really, I have to interpret from from the English language to Ilonggo language and vice versa. So you know what I mean, right? And some of them are from Manila and some of them are from Cebu and most of them are international. Yes, the, the, Indi the, the Indian viewers and uh, viewers from Europe. So... Um, I don't know. Yeah, I have a lot here from the States too, but mostly Asian countries. So that is joining the group. And earlier, while you were not watching, I already add some pink salt to it. 
And if you want, besides the um, the pink salt or the asin or any kinds of salt, you can add some fish sauce. We'll see later how it goes because I am adding the um, nor cubes or the uh, chicken cube. Um, we'll play it by ear. Kumbaga sa ilonggo pa, panilagan ta. Amat amaton ta lang. And we'll see kung ano na ang iyang flavor or whatever the flavor is. And then we'll go from there. And so, for the amount of water, um, add 10 cups of water first and go from there. Of course, if you're only going to be using half of the chicken, if it's the Bisaya nga chicken in the Philippines, use 5 to 7. But if you're using the um, uh, a big, big chicken, of course, um, we have to uh, have 10 up to 15 cups. But then, I just realized, even though the chicken in the Philippines, the Bisaya or the free-range chicken is small, usually it's tougher. So, yeah, just go ahead and do 10 to 12 cups of water until the chicken is tender for two hours. But then, if you know that the, the, the soup is already, like, evaporating keep adding water before even the soup gets too concentrated because you wanted the flavor to stay in the amount of water that you're adding in there right makes sense right so what um what we did is we added the chicken we added the seabot um mixture or the herbal mix and we added some salt and then we added the um chicken cubes so that would be it for now i will let this simmer away until an hour and a half and we'll see how it looks like so while i'm waiting for that yeah you can, you're gonna try the herbal soup later so while i'm working on that uh to boil i'm gonna start chopping some of these leeks if you don't have leeks you can just use sibuya stahon or the green onion that would work anyways um a lot of us in china back in the days as if <laughs> i was born before during the that period huh? a lot of chinese people including my grandmas maybe are using uh green onions you know more often than the leeks because this kind of leeks is actually an american leek or whatever you call it it's like it's right here it's manufactured or it's being grown here in the u.s so sibuyas dahon or green onion will do if you don't have this and substitution substitution for the asparagus white asparagus um maybe just leave it out because not everybody can access asparagus but i've seen one at wakong the chinese store in the Philippines, in shopping, Wakong has this because I've been making this recipe in the Philippines. Even back then, I only, I only use though, I make the, the recipe though as like tinolang manok, but instead of the papaya, I added this asparagus. Um, that's how I make it back then. But now, since I'm in the States and I'm accessing everything here from the seabot mixture or the uh, other ginseng, now sky is the limit, right? And of course, um, for this um, Shaoxing wine here, just make, maybe put some sherry or some white dry wine. Don't put choktong ha, or lambanog or, or hinebra. Don't do that. Just use or just get some, go to the Asian market or go to the Asian store in your local stores in the Philippines and access one of this. So, okay. Um, we'll, we'll go from there. And of course, galit. If you don't have the pink salt, don't stress yourself. Just use ordinary salt. I think it's equivalent to the same taste and the same nutrient. So, okay, since the leeks is very big, no, I just uh, make I cut it into half, half portion. So this is how the leeks looks like, and this is the mushroom here. I already start. I mean, not mushroom, the asparagus. I started opening it. Actually, this uh, asparagus is a little pricey. It's four dollars a can. I'll show you the price: four dollars or almost five dollars a can. So. Um, this is optional if you want to add it or not. But actually, the original seaboot recipe doesn't even have um, asparagus on it. I just love the taste of it. Kamuton ko na lang ha. This is how it looks like. All right, white asparagus. It's really good. I will show you the other recipe of just the simple asparagus and chicken soup next time. But this time, I am adding um, 
this white asparagus in can. I just want to be healthy today. Usually, seabot soup is being used as a medicinal, or obviously because it's an herbal mix. Uh, it's a ginseng. It's an herbal soup that usually a lot of teenager Chinese are being fed by their moms uh, whenever they're reaching their adolescent stage because it, I guess, it enhanced fertility. And also when they, be when somebody like an elderly person or anybody of any age gets sick, this is the, this is the, um, the soup that really boosts that immune system and energy. Kung sa ano pa, kung sa atun pa sa ilonggo, do balot no pampalakas ng tuhod. <laughs> what I meant is, it's making you feel better because of this medicinal property of it. So um, I decided because I don't want to wait uh, too long for two for an hour and a half until I add this one. I'm gonna start adding it because I wanted really to be incorporated to the soup base so that the flavor would be enhanced and more delicious. Okay, so let's put this uh, bad boy here or the good girl here. <laughs> um, in there. All right, simmering away. Get in, ma in it, in it. Good, no? Be careful, cause mapaso. All right, so maybe I'll get, I put some, and I'll save some for later for garnishing. Will that be a good idea? Uh huh. I think so. Okay, I got a handful, and it's joining the party. Okay, so later on, if we want to add the patis and we want to add the wine, it's going to be like the final touches plus the sesame oil. So I will show you later when I get to add those. Para wala may mamiss, kag wala may makoment nga you did not add it. So we'll get you with this step by step, okay? Of course, when you add something, you're expected to stir it so that all the flavor is going to be mixed through or mixed in. And at this point, if you notice, gadutay na ang tubig niya. So you can actually start to add more boiling water. I would say boiling water, you know, or in microwave nyo ang, ang microwave the, um, microwave the water first before you add in. Or if you don't have the microwave, boil it sa inyo takure or your kittle. And then add the water in here. Maybe half a cup at a time. So that the, um, so that you can still control the uh, soup base so that it's not going to be too light later and all the flavor of the chicken disappears because if you dump a lot of water in there, it's going to malain ang iyang sabor. Okay? So we are still boiling this. And obviously, it's still in there. Our pouch is still there. And uh, if you notice, the, the color right now of the soup changes it's getting darker i didn't add any soy sauce or anything because it this one doesn't require sauce soy sauce unless you want to but you may if you want but i'm adding patis later when you say patis in tagalog it's called the fish fish sauce but in ilongo or in hiligaynon language when you say patis it's actually the soy sauce but in here it's the fish patis that we're gonna be putting okay in short it's the rufina patis that all the filipinos are aware of um i'm probably gonna list all the ingredients at the bottom at the um at the bottom or what you call that one in the description so that um nobody's gonna be um confused because i'm speaking elongo here or hiligay non i wanted the filipino community the cebuanos and the tagalogs also to know what I'm speaking about, and especially the foreign, um, the foreign um, viewers. Okay, so that's how it is right now. Casa Negrense is improving, right? I'm catering to all your needs, and so we shall still wait for the one hour and a half time. At this point, we are only needing an hour and fifteen minutes because we've been boiling it for a while while I'm talking here and telling you what's going on all right let's check after a long long time <laughs> after a few years later now after 30 minutes of boiling now the water somewhat evaporated so did you see i'm only adding half of the cup at a time as what I mentioned, do it little by little. And guys, if you can only smell 
the lovely lovely scent or the smell of it you're gonna say like oh my goodness um gabriel's been asking me if the soup is done if the soup is done because he's probably smelling the whole house and it's stimulating his um um sense of smell and now he's hungry <laughs> so but that's the way you know you do it you cook food so that your family will you know will 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 smell the food it entices their appetite and then or the sense of smell and then they want to eat your food right instead of making food and nobody's eating it so anyways see i every time i added uh, water uh i bump the heat up a bit and then later on i will um cover it and uh put the fire a little bit lower right here there you go just be careful because all of the moistures are already on the thing. Oh? So you're going to end up cleaning your stove later after you're done with this. All right. I shall see you in a few. All right. It's time to check the soup. And guys, I have tasted it earlier. I decided to add one more cubes of uh, chicken cubes. So all in all, there's already two uh cubes in there because i added more water i added more water why because i'm gonna add the asparagus and you don't want the the um it's a soup right so when you add the asparagus of course it's gonna multiply in numbers and you don't you wanted it to look like a soup not a like a stew so that's why i added more cubes and at this point um we are adding some whoops <laughs> some fish sauce just an itty bitty one so i would just say taste it according to your liking um i didn't add pepper because the pepper it already comes in the package of the seaboot soup but you, you with the seaboot or the ginseng but you can add if you want you know it's your it's your kitchen you can do what you want so at this point we're gonna already start adding the wine i'll start with one half teaspoon or one half tablespoon the reason why I add it now to, um, so that it could evaporate because this is a soup, not an alcoholic drink. That's why, as I mentioned earlier, don't add those um, whiskeys or drinks that I told you earlier. Please don't. Just look for a dry sherry or a dry white wine, okay? Something that is light in color and also put some pink salt or salt, adjust it according to taste and um we're going to put the sesame oil at this time just a little for now because i wanted to add more later because you know when you put some sesame oil it's gonna evaporate also so if you wanted a pungent taste add one later before you um you serve it so at this point i am also adding the asparagus so asparagus is drained and joining the party okay hold on let's steer it or let me show you how the um the uh oh my goodness how the uh the chicken came out after almost two hours or actually two hours of boiling it's very very tender so you know now that the um the chicken taste really or the chicken bones really enhances the taste of the broth and here comes our asparagus the white asparagus it's just um it's um it i wanted this to be um still crispy or not really crispy but just al dente still uh, you know firm to the bite some people wanted it like too mushy or do not na but i wanted it to still see the asparagus that's added in there and um let's boil it for like maybe three minutes covered and then we'll check it out in a few all right, I've changed my mind. I'm not going to cover it yet because I want that um, chowsing wine to evaporate or else mahubog ka mo. So I'll leave it open while it's boiling because I just happened to taste it and uh, the wine is so strong. So that's why I leave it open. And at this time, it's not going to hurt if you add uh, the leeks. 
and if you want to add the black pepper if you want or if you want you can add white pepper either or but the way I tasted it I feel like adding some white pepper and at the same time some black pepper so white pepper is being added okay and then I cannot grind the pepper mill while filming so I have to put this video down I mean the the, the camera down okay the white pepper and the black pepper was added you see that that's the black pepper that was there and at this point maybe start fishing out the the gin, ginseng um uh bouquet take it off fish it out because it's not really needed in there anymore okay i call this done i'm gonna put the rest of the leeks for garnishing and we'll put a little bit of the sesame oil okay and there you go guys seabot soup chinese style cooking but the casa negrancy way because i added my own spin to it by adding asparagus thank you for watching casa negrancy cooking and lifestyle with queenie Basta ilonggo dishes gani namit gid. But you know, trying other dishes is also delicious. Especially remember, Filipino dish comprises of Chinese and Spanish dish. And you know, why not try? Right? Hope you like our video today. And please do like, subscribe, and share the videos because. As I promised you guys, we are enhancing Casa Negrense. Lately, I'm only giving you the best recipes here. Unique recipes that, you know, you're going to love. Thank you. Basta ilonggo dishes ganiya namit get. Did I already say that? But I'm saying it again. See you in the next episode of Casa Negrense. Cooking and lifestyle with Queenie. See you around. Bye.